very good morning all of you operation part 2 here we'll discuss about the user operation part 1 and we check how to add the user how to delete the u a particular user in a group so we discuss about that term in the user operation part 1 now we'll discuss about how we will modify the content of user okay this topic is user operation part second part 2 is so called as a user mode if user wants to change the content of change change of content of for use user ready so first of all we'll discuss what is the man meaning man of user can say that the definition of user it is used for modify user account to use the syntax if i using a syntax we already know about that where we get the user related information where the get the user related information we already seen so the file path is e file path will be slash etc slash passwd want to change we already know about that where we get the data and if we get the detail then we can able to modify but if we don't know where we get the detail then how will modify so for that reason for that reason we need to understand where we get the detail and how will open the file we all know that will open the file by using the pt get command also we can open a file by using a get command so we can access the file so fl i can using a command so these are the various options are available by using that we can open the the configuration we need to understand by using which thing we need to open the file okay so now we have a bunch amount of users available for example if you want to check then we can check by using cat tag head and tail but important that we need to change the content of particular user for that we need to get the details of particular user you want to change the top down user information then i will use head if you want to change the bottom up user information then i will use tail okay what should do we need to check the bottom up why because the whenever user will be added at that time the user will be added in the bottom okay so here i will use the command l hyphen e n one last user ka jo information rahega that will be changed if you want to change second last then use n2 if you want to check third fourth fifth like that stuff you can change by you check by using a tail command so before that just we will open the vmware to do the operation first of all we check the etc.passwd file and later on we will learn about how to do the modifications so first of all we need to open the particular file trying to open the vmware once we open the vmware we can do the operations first i install that uh, open file 
operating system on the VMware. So VMware is a paired version, but for non-commercial use, if you want to do the practicals for non-commercial use, then you will get as a free. If it's commercial use, then we need to pay certain some amount to use that. we have another application called as the virtual box virtual box we can use the VMware or the virtual box so operation only once we complete the Linux later on we will start the AWS and that we will get the instance of the virtual instance we do the practical also we get the here I got the different whenever I created that user part one password time to login into the system. Login the terminal to do the operations. Login into the terminal. Is it visible to all? Check our file by using a cat command cat slash etc slash cat. Get the all information. This one is a Ramesh user, SYCS is there, Arvind is there. Lots of users are available. Okay. So similarly, we'll do like cat command. You can check. Top user will be listed in the bottom file because it follows the particular location. You can use head command to check the concept file. Okay. The top 10 users and tell command to check the bottom of user. Any option. So now we need to what we need to do the change. So for that here I will use can slash etc slash cat. So we need to understand this thing. Now what is one zero zero three? What is a one zero zero three? That comma. What does it mean? That slash Ramesh. What does it mean? Bin bash like that stuff. Okay. So we need to modify this by using a man command. So we'll check the what is the man of user. It is use a modify user command. Okay, so these definitions are required while uh, doing uh, while uh, preparing for the interview because they will ask this definition only. Okay, if you don't know how we'll do the changes, if you know how we will ch do the changes by by using a user mod command, but you, if you don't know uh, what is the meaning of that command, then it will be uh, okay. So that will be uh, what we say. Lack of knowledge, we can say that lack of knowledge of uh, lack of knowledge will consider. So that's why we need to understand the definition along with the practical or the examples. Here we'll do the operations. Before doing the operations, we need to understand what are the seven contents are available inside that file. Whenever we open that file, see, I will show you. Whenever I open the file, we get this information. We get this. <laughs> so I will write it over. So the field contains whenever we use this command, the field contains seven fields. We'll discuss what are the seven fields that are available, how we can change that field. The first field contains the username. Second field contains password mask. User contains some password. Third field contains user key. Contains group ID. Fifth field contains uh, comment name. 
field contains login shape this one if id is uh, command name is <coughs> there six field contains the home directory Whenever we retrieve the file by using the file hyphen n slash etc slash password, the particular user has seven fields, and among that seven fields, we have listed the all uh, the seven fields. The first one is username, second one is a password mask, third one is a user ID, fourth one is a group ID. Yes, I will show you for Ramesh user. So we get the username as Ramesh. We get the password mask X. User ID something called as a 1003. The command name will be a phono copy. Will be slash home slash Ramesh. Shell will be the bin bash. Like that stuff we get whenever we retrieve the particular. Now, see. Whenever trying to change the username, it is not possible. Once the username will be created, we cannot able to change that. Okay. So among the seven fields, which fields we need to change by using the user mod command? We are dealing with the user mod command. So while dealing with the user mod command, we need to understand which thing we can able to change and which thing we are not able to change. So the first one is a username. The first field name is a username. So once we create the user, in that case, we cannot able to change or modify the current username. Of that so that's why whenever we create the user at that time we cannot able to change the user if you want to do the changes we need to change earlier whenever we create before creation we can change it after creation we cannot able to change it okay. so once I decided I want to create a user having name Ramesh so once I created I'm not able to change that user Ramesh okay. so that means the first field is not able to change so here I will write about what the password once we created the password for user we password mask means that means we can say that see this x indicates the password max password mask this x indicates the password mask that means the current user have a password if you want to check the password related file then use that uh, shadow command okay so here i will use tell that file contains the password file that contains the user related details particular user Ramesh is there the password will be in the encrypted format see password will be encrypted we are cannot able to view that password even we we are working as a root user so this one is a SYCAC user and this one is a password of SYCAC user so if you get uh, the password related details we will get that on the slash etc slash shadow file make a note of that so such a type of question will be asked in the interview where we get the user password related information so in that case we need to specify slash etc slash shadow that contains the password related information so for that we cannot able to change okay. if you not get present x x agar aapko milta nahi yaan, then we can say that that particular file does not have a password. See, X agar nahi hai, that particular file does not have a password. So even we cannot able to change the first and even we cannot able to change the second thing. Okay. So here I will write not able to change. change. Now the next part. So the next one that means we can able to change the user ID, we can change the group ID, we can change the command ID. Lots of time, we can change the command ID. Here we get the user ID, group ID, comment name, home directory, and main bash. 
So we can change this last five fields. So among the seven fields, we can able to change the five fields. Two fields are not changeable. So let's do one by one operation so we get the idea. So among that field, we need to change the change user id and possible using using user mod this is the thing regarding that so if user wants to change the user id then so what about the user id when you talk about the user id how much user id will be created so system defined users are there system defined users that contains from 1 to 1000 or we can say that 9999 these are the user defined system we can say that 1000 are the user design the user design so i will replace that word user design i want to create the user defined the user defined user and we can create from 100 that we all know that how to add the user into the system so that user get the user id from 1001 to a number so for example if you want to change username as so if admin change user id of ramesh we have the user ramesh as one one then is it a possible? The answer yes, yes. This is about the theory. This is about the how we'll change that user ID. So here will be the syntax to change that. In that case, we need to use user mode. See, the location of that particular command is that dash kt. So that here, I will suggest, uh, when changing the user ID and group ID related things, use sudo. Because we need, we are trying to access the file. When I use any file having the slash version, then it that in that case we have we don't have a permission to change that. Okay, so in that case only root user able to change that, or super user will be able to change that. Right now, Arvind is a super user, and the root is also super user. So in that case, while changing any operation, use sudo. If user wants to change anything on partition, then we need to then but run new. I will use here I will use a sudo syntax so first. will use sudo for the modify here we need to change uh, sorry sudo user mode and after that which thing we need to use okay, if you want to change the user id then i will use u if you want to change the group id then i will use g if you want to change the command name i will use c if you want to use the home directory then i will use d and if you want to change the shell then i will use See, so before doing that, I will use u for specify the name of the user. I want to change the user u change the group name group ID. Sorry, not group name. User.
that if user wants to change the command name then that will be changed by using uh, C if user wants to change the directory name as shell name if user wants to change the shell now we'll do the change of this user ID sudo what this command will be for the user ID. Here we need to specify the user ID. New. The syntax to change the user ID. change as one 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 four times one of that user Ramesh by using this technique we can able to change the user let's check out by using the practical and I will open the VMware just and I will read the last file is my radar file and here the user id is 1003 now i want to replace that user id with 111 that operation successfully so we did not get any error that means the user related information that user ID of that Ramesh will be successfully changed if you want to check then I will use what L n one dash C you will get that information earlier it was 1003 now we have the user ID is 1111 okay so yeah task company ke, uh, so assume that if you have a company in that company there will be a admin super admin at l3 level l4 level l1 level ke liye permissions nahi hote l level means starting level okay l1 means the starting upgradation l2 level and your top ke level hote l3 or l4 level we can say that that for that user have a permission to change the change or modify the user related details aisa nahi hai ki aapko hi uh, company join karne ke baad mein change karna padta hai if, if we get the job of uh, L3 or L4, then you can do that operations to change the user related information. Okay, so let's do one more time. So, see, we get the user ID is 1111. Right now, we'll check the last two users. We have SYCACS also there. And the user ID is equals to 10001. Okay. Now uh, in that case I will replace that SYCSC with uh, 2222 four times okay so what should I do I will use sudo okay user more command so that hyphen u to change the user id new user id will be 222 the name of the user is SYCSC see we perform that operation and we did not get any error and see you can check we have the user ID is one earlier we have the user ID as one zero zero one. Now we're trying to check as two 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 times two. That means we can able to change that. Okay. So this is about the user ID. This is about the user ID. You can change that. So let's write one more example. of user is so we can execute that so we did that operation now the third second operation ID. or 
page with the syntax we learn about that what is the meaning of that This will be the syntax to change the group ID. User wants to change the group ID. This will be the syntax. So here I will give you the example. Sudo user mod FNG stands for group. Group will be uh, group ID will be suppose. So make a note of that uh, while doing the operation on user ID. In that case, we can provide any user ID. Okay, above the one thousand. So in that we need to specify any group the user id but when we talk about the group id it is mandatory to check the page how many groups are available so for that we all know that if you want to check the group related information then we have option of slash etc slash group so first of all we check the slash etc slash group. So tell last 10 group i want to check so slash etc slash these groups are available these are the user groups are available 1099 1001 1003 so we can able to change only existing group here i am cannot able to use four times one five times one we cannot able to change for four times two or we can say that one one zero zero like that we cannot able to change that once we have a group as in that the testing group is having with the id of one zero zero three then we can change up to 1003 we cannot able to use 1004 1005 1006 make a note of that aapko. if we have that group then we can able to change if you don't have that group then we cannot able to change so in that case here i will add one group and part one we see that here they i will add the developer group here i will add the admin related group here I will add the network group okay, so certain groups are added we'll check one more time how many groups are available now see 1004 1005 groups are available so development is there uh, this testing is there this admin is there this network team is there so we can change these group only so here I will make a note Note user can change only existing user can change only existing group ID. We cannot able to change the group having uh, we can say that the, that group is not available. Okay, and if you want to check, then we have option of slash etc slash group. So by using this uh, path, we can change the group. Now, here I want to change the group of 1005 of user uh, Ramesh. Okay, so this one is the example. Let's check about the Ramesh user. L1 slash etc. Here we have a group ID is 1003. Plus group ID comes available 1003. Now I am trying to change is 1005. So here they have skill related information. Then we have a file of see we will replace that you group ID with 1004 or 1005, whatever it may be, but on a chain. That means 1003 will be replaced by using 1004 or 1005. Whatever we need to provide, that will be replaced. So I have to do that sudo. I 
for G for group ID, I will replace 1005 and the name of file will be the Ramesh. User will be the okay. particular user will success your group ID will be successful change, so that's why we did not get error. If we have error, then the error will be listed over here. Okay, now we'll change last file record. See, the group ID will be 100. Earlier it was 1003. So by using this way, we can able to change. Let's do the change operation for. CSC also, SYCSC. See, SYCSC we have a group ID as 1001, we'll replace by using 1004. Okay, so how will do that? Simply sudo user mod from G for group ID. Here I will replace the new group ID as in G for SY. Let's check out earlier when I use that. Earlier the group ID will be 1004, oh sorry 1001, now it would be 1004. That means we successfully change the file. This is about the username. Uh, we are trying to change the domain. If you want to, if user wants to change the command name, then we can able to change. So by using that, we can check by using the file. If you want to, first of all, we need to understand where we get that detail. We'll get the detail in slash etc slash password. Check out. But I will use only one file because right now that there is a no comment name so that's why we get the comma comma option okay so you have comma comma option three times comma so that means that particular user don't have the command name so what is our command name command name is called as a display name okay. so is display name so where we get that display name Get that display name when trying to log in into the system. If user find that login OS get so login jab karte hai na, jaise we get the Ramesh, we get the uh, Arvin. Okay, so we login kiya tha VMware ke andar, so we naam dikhai diye the. That name will be a username. Username ke jo hai, we name dikhte. But as a view sakta hai ki username alag hai or display name alag hai. Right now I don't have any display name. Ab Ramesh ka login name kya tha, username kya tha, Ramesh tha. Or login karte sa may bhi Ramesh aara tha. Now I'm trying to do what? I want to change that display name. So login ka name Ramesh rahega or display ka name suppose we can say that uh, as why uh, we can say that PASC hoi rahega. So can I able to do that? Yes. I will do that user mod P for command name. So we need to pass the new display. We need to pass the name. For example, here I am trying to use sudo user mod display name will be called as uh, uh, what we say Ramesh name of user will be Ramesh so in that case this will be your display name and this will be your display name make a note of that if we trying uh, if you're trying to change the command name in that case if we have two or more words we have the two modes, two or more modes. Okay, for example, as in that, this is only one single word, so there will be a no problem. Okay, the command will be executed successfully. But here we have two names. Ramesh is a different name, and admin is another different name. So 
बिकॉज इट विल बी ट्रीट एज अ स्पेस ये स्पेस ना कंसिडर किया जाता है यहाँ सो इन दैट केस मेक नोट ऑफ दैट केस मेक नोट ऑफ दैन आई ट्राइंग टू चेंज द कमेंट ने विद द स्पेस then it will be treated first alphabet only it will be treated first uh, word only so to avoid this we kya karna hai we need to use double quote open so kaisa hota hai linux mein that empty uh, space will be treated as backslash 0 okay so backslash 0 ka dusra bhi meaning hota hai ki terminate the string okay so in that case only ramesh will be displayed ramesh already here तो so, ऐसा हो सकता है सो इन दैट केस जस्ट अगर आपके पास टू और मोर वर्ड्स हैं सो इन दैट केस आप याद रखना है कि आपको डबल कोड लिखना है जस्ट आई विल शो यू योर एरिया सूडो राइट नो आई डोंट हैव एनी कमेंट नहीं सूडो यूजर मोड आई डोंट टीम यूजर आई विल यूज एक्स वाई जेड माय नेम यूजर रमेश चेक आउट See, earlier it was a comma. Now the my display name will be X Y Z. Okay, so by using that we can change. Let's try to change by using uh, instead of that X Y Z, I will use X Y Z P Q R, or we can say that P Q R X Y Z. Okay, here I have now two words passed. Okay, then it will use only P Q R. It will not use P Q R X Y Z because in between two words there is an empty string. Empty space is there, and it will be you. It will be treat as a termination of string. Okay, so when I use that, see we get the error. For that, just क्या करना use double quote. Now it will be easy to read. The name of that display name will be PQR. याद रखना इफ यू हैव टू और मोर वर्ड्स देन यूज डबल दैट्स इट जस्ट आई विल यूज अल्टरनेट नेम वी गेट द रमेश एडमिन नाउ आई एम ट्राइंग टू चेक व्हाट आई वांट टू चेक दिस नेम मुझे ये नेम डिस्प्ले करना है चेक करना है सो व्हाट शुड आई डू आई विल लॉग आउट फ्रॉम द सिस्टम Here I will use a logout. See, the display name will be a Ramesh admin. Earlier it was show only Ramesh. Now it will show Ramesh admin. So, ये जो login window होता है ना यहाँ name change होता है command name. आप user का नाम Ramesh है यहाँ कुछ भी लिख सकते हैं आप admin Ramesh, Ramesh admin, PQR, X Y Z. Whatever it may be, but that will be treated as only login display name. Okay, I will log in into the my sudo user. This is about what how we will change that. A single word, then we don't have a problem. If you have double word, then we need to change. So here I will pass a note. If display name add or more words. and double quote Oops. hope so you will get understand now the fourth thing will be home directory hmm. again if you want to check the home directory related information then we'll check in the etc slash part of this so check out all The information. 
here the home directory will be slash home Ramesh. Okay, so go to that home directory std slash home and plus ls. So we have the Ramesh directory, we have SVS directory, we have XYZ directory, we have Arvind directory. Now here we'll create one directory. Now make directory create karenge. We are working on slash, so normal user cannot able to do the operation over here. So we need to use user sudo user so sudo mkdir and new directory will be pescoe check out does we have the pescoe directory yes so before changing the directory at least we need to have that directory okay so i'll do that D for directory new directory name of this will be the syntax. Just I will place a note over here. Before changing. User must create directory the data inside the user ko sum whom ke under so here we get example we created home slash PES yes, slash PES slash let's do the practical over here sudo okay. sudo user path new change directory had uh, slash home slash PES user is rubbish like that we can do the operation so let's check that so before changing that just i want to use present directory right now i'm working in the home arvin okay so what will be the current path what will be the current directory of user home slash ramesh we skip current directory here yeah, ramesh user can now i'm not talking about the arvin user Talking about the Ramesh user, so sudo login current directory sudo sp sudo su Ramesh that will be the present directory. Present directory will be let's see slash home slash Ramesh present directory of that user Ramesh. I'm logging by using a Ramesh. And the present working directory of Ramesh is slash home slash. So I will exit from that. Now I'm trying to change that. Okay, change karma. Slash PSU. Okay. So, what should I do? I will use sudo. user is Ramesh. We were trying to change that. Check out earlier directory was home Ramesh and then now new directory will be assigned to that user is slash home slash PSU. Okay. So logging into that system sudo SU Ramesh. Enter CD. See the username is Ramesh. Check out who I am. Who am I? Username is Ramesh. Present working directory of Ramesh is slash home slash PSUE. So practical se bhi dikha hai aur yahan se bhi dikha hai. So log out from the system and I'll check one more time. See, we successfully changed that directory. The directory successful change kar li. So by using that, we can able to change the what? The 
Zoom directly. Last option, login shell. Login shell means what? If admin wants to allow or deny. If user wants to allow or deny the access to user, user then we will then we will use login shell. Okay. Then we will use login shell. Both important password right? If user or if admin wants to access, allow access or deny access, whenever we create the user at that time, the allow access is available. Okay, so I select like for example, in the reported company, there is an employee switching from that company uh, on uh, before. Uh, so we can say that the switching uh, that company after 10 days, in that case, we need to uh, deny the login after 10 days. Okay, so that user cannot able to log in into the system. So in that case, ye admin ki responsibility. Make a note of that in that slash bin slash bash is meaning allow slash as bin slash no login means no access. meaning that no access to that particular user. Let's check out how many users don't have their access. So we can say that bin bash is there. That means that Ramesh will be logging into the system. Bin bash is there. That SYCAC can log in into the system. Has been no login that means in that system D is not able to log in okay by user defined class it is not able to log in that now in that case we have the option tell slash etc slash now Ramesh will able to log in so let's do one more time Ramesh is there. Who am I? Ramesh is there. So in that case, Ramesh no to login curly. In that case, now we say access nahi dena. What should I need to do? User mod hyphen as for shell slash has been slash no login. For what? For Ramesh. Okay. Now Ramesh, I hit that runner. Runner. Then run. So zero. User more. Yes. Slash. Then slash. Slash. Ramesh can log in. Okay, bin bash raha hai to log in kar sakta hai, otherwise it is not able to log in. So let's choose that sudo user mod yes shell slash has been slash no login what Ramesh check out does we created that yes Earlier it was bin bash, now it is a has been no login. Let's try to log in into the system by using a Ramesh. Okay. This account is currently not available. Earlier I tried to log in into the system, we get the access. I'm access Milata. Right now I don't have access. This currently this account is currently not available. That means we cannot able to log in into the if I change that by using bin bash,
Okay, now I'm trying to log in into the system and check who am I. Trying to log in into the system. Can I bin bash hai? So log in karasakte hai. Or as we know login hai. So they are not able to log in into the system. Okay. This one is a about today's lecture hope so you will get the idea regarding user operation part 2 those have a query let me know we'll discuss about that and we'll close the today's session you need to do the practical see those who want to do really internship you can perform that application options you will get the more idea so zyada zyada uska idea mile i will share all the videos okay, so let me know quickly if you have any query regarding that